The money has been printed. You just need to go get it. If you don't accumulate wealth during this downturn, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. And the problem is no one knows how long this recession will last. Six months, a year or two, five. So in this video, we'll go over the exact plan you need to have to start making more right now and specific examples from history that support everything I'm saying. I first want to say big props to you for even caring about this stuff. It shows where your interests are, your priorities, and that you're actively looking out for your financial well-being. That being said, I'm going to share some touchy things that a lot of people don't like to hear. But this stress is so important for sparking action, which I hope this video does for you. The median income in 2021 per US household was about $79,900. When you compare wages going up 4.4% this past year with a report inflation of 8.6% in May of 2022, or over 9% in June, you can see that your income is not keeping up with life. In fact, this translates to over $3,500 in additional expenses for your household. Life is getting more expensive, your wages not going up nearly fast enough, and that means that your real income income is on a downtrend. So if you're making X dollars a year at a job, you effectively got an anti-raise. Just because there's more money in circulation doesn't mean your employer is going to give it to you. Profits rose 22% for companies in the S&P 500 in the fourth quarter of 2021. And they're up nearly 50% in the whole year, which is the highest spin in decades. And the more you work, the less you're making per hour and the juicier the company's balance sheet gets. So when it comes to your own balance sheet, what do you want it to say under assets as well as liabilities. When it comes to your profit and loss statement, do you want a higher green number? I want this video to inspire you to maximize that number now so that you can come out ahead way stronger than before. And I really think it's possible, but it won't be easy. To live the life that most people want, you'll need to make some remarkable shifts in your life over the next two to five years. More specifically, working your ass off to make more money and then investing said money. I'm talking about truly giving it your all from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Historically, we've seen that investing in index funds such as the S&P 500 leads to a very minimal chance of long-term loss. Research shows that over a 10-year period, if you put your money into the S&P 500, your chance for you to lose money would be a slim 6%. Double that to 20 years and it's down to 0%. More data shows it's definitely not a risky thing to invest in the market during a recession because if you would have invested during the recession of 2009 and taken your earnings in January of 2022, you would have had a 410% gain on average from your initial cost. If you invested in the Dow Jones index, you would have had a 3.4 times or 336% increase and a whopping eight times or 786% increase if you had invested in the NASDAQ. That's all hypothetical though, because we can't time the market, but it just shows you how much potential gain there is. Remember the money is there in circulation. And in fact, just take a look at how much it's grown since 1959. You can see that the entire money supply rose by about 40% in 2020 and 2021 as the treasury and Fed joined forces to print money to pay for COVID relief. But now with the way that the world is changing, we are really starting to see the effects of more money put into circulation. On top of worrying about your normal problems, Americans are now becoming stressed about being able to afford the cost of living, which can be really detrimental to your mental health. Being stressed about financial issues takes a toll on your mind, and I'm sure you guys can relate. A study from 2016 actually showed that the poor experience more stress than the rich on a daily basis, which definitely affects their ability to invest during rough times. But you just have to believe me when I say the tools and resources to making wealth are available everywhere. It sounds super simple, but that's because it really is. With the internet, you can learn any high paying skill from home, sell it, and then earn much more than from your traditional nine to five job, which is what a lot of people did last year. In fact, a study found that in 2021, over 1 million millionaires were made. And earlier this year, a report came out that showed how the percentage of business conducted online has been steadily increasing since 2002. You have the opportunity to do the same and become financially free right here, right now. The fact that you're even able to watch this video is proof that you have the resources to be able to learn everything. But the most important part is taking action. I've stressed this so much on my channel and especially right now because you have to think of a recession as the potential to multiply your money. What this means is that every dollar made during a recession like right now has a multiplier attached to it. Whether it's 2x, 3x or whatever. One dollar now will eventually become two or three dollars later on and a thousand dollars can easily turn into two thousand or three thousand dollars. Imagine that on a larger scale and you will start to see just how much you truly can make if you're able to capitalize on your income during an economic downturn. Now in order to truly see that multiplier take its effect you have to be wise 
with how you accumulate your wealth today. Thankfully, there's so much access to information that allows us to observe trends and gives us direction on where to place our chips right now for the best return. However, this window of opportunity won't last long because if history is to repeat itself, we will be out of a recession before you know it. According to Bank of America, the average bear market within the last 140 years has experienced a decline of 37%. And what's interesting is that once the bear market is over, the average bull market lasts more than five years with a 198% return. This means that we could see the S&P 500 at around 8,000 by 2028, which is an immense gain in the span of only six years. This goes to show that you want to be invested right now in the lows because once the bull market comes back, everything is going to go up. To emphasize how rare this opportunity is, bull markets have occurred 78% of the time in the past 91 years. The longest bull market lasted from 2009 to just very recently in 2020 and resulted in a market growth of more than 400%. Bull runs are the norm, which is why you need to take action now before the bull market comes back. And you can do that with investing using any of the platforms in the description where you can actually get a ton of free stocks just for signing up and making your first deposit using my link. So yeah, all that information is going to be down below in the description. If you haven't gotten started investing, do that right now with some free money. The housing market is another prime example of an opportunity to start preparing for. Going back in history, we can see that from 1976 to 1979, the price of homes went up 23%, but right after when mortgage rates went to an all-time high from 1980 to 1982, we saw a 14% decrease in home prices before we saw any growth for several years. Right now, with rates being pushed up, we could definitely see the price of homes dropping a little bit before seeing growth. According to statistics from the American Enterprise Institute's Housing Center, the price for U.S. homes in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic skyrocketed 31%. And since then, we have gone up 17% annually. Even though home prices have gone up 18.7% from quarter one of 2021 to the first quarter of 2022, we've seen from past examples that these rapidly growing prices will eventually come back down. That's why it is so important to have money ready for when the real estate market gives you an opportunity. These situations can change very quickly, and now is the chance to really start putting in that time and effort to go in on these opportunities. Another market that you can capitalize on is the crypto market. Market. And in the grand scheme of things, it's still relatively new and worth getting into. In 2011, Bitcoin was pretty much unknown, but with its price increasing from $1 to $32 in just one year, it already showed tremendous potential. Since then, it's grown all the way up past $60,000. However, as you guys may have seen, it's since dropped back down to below $20,000 since those all-time highs. With the prices of both Bitcoin and Ethereum at a very low spot right now, and with the knowledge that crypto should bounce back, it should be really clear that now is the time to go in. With the fear and greed index at an 18 as of July 7th, it's clear that the markets have a lot of people worried. This is the time when you need to go against the crowd and invest as much as you can if you believe in cryptocurrencies for the long run. So with all that being said, here is a summary of things you can do right now. One is learning a high value skill that gives you access to the many benefits of self-employment and more importantly, the unlimited amount of money that you can earn. How much you make as someone who's self-employed is only really held back by how much you put into it. Number two is you need to be searching for opportunities because opportunities are everywhere, whether it be online or right in your own room. There's a way to create income from just about anything if you search hard enough. Many people say right place, right time, and well, your likelihood of being in that scenario increases the more you simply observe. Number three, and this is a big one that some people feel uncomfortable hearing, but take life into your own hands. The potential to make a really good amount of money is there, but at the end of the day, it really is up to you to make that money. You need to take risks, make mistakes, and constantly learn in order to reach an above average level with anything. And yeah, nothing beats persistence. With enough persistence, you'll come out on top no matter what. And four, surrounding yourself with successful people can be one of the best ways to seize an opportunity. Beyond not just networking, create friendships with those who have experience knowledge, and passion in your field because those people will push you past your limit and help you grow. For example, my assistant Joey, he actually reached out to me with the intention of saying, hey, I don't need to be paid. I just want to work for you and surround myself with your network. He's been the best hire I've ever made. And yes, I do pay him, but the network of people he now has access to is just immense. And he knows that that network is going to pay dividends in the future. With everything I showed you today in this video, I have to say that if you are broke in five years with the amount of opportunities that exist today to get rich, 
rich, then you're going to have a lot of trouble playing catch up. I know that can sound very harsh to some, but it is true. And yes, I'm trying to instill some fear and pressure into you. Diamonds are created under pressure and it's going to be your time to shine soon. And I have no problem being the one to give you that pressure. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Hopefully guys, you learned some things about the market, the economy, and why you seriously need to start making more money right now and investing as soon as possible. Follow these steps and everyone watching this video will have the opportunity to become a millionaire over the next few years. Like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't yet already, make sure to use the links down below to get your free stocks. Both Weeble and Moomoo Moo are giving out tons of free stocks to you guys and time is running out, so definitely don't miss out on that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share with a friend and also like and subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Again, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.